Today I have been privileged to interview Dr. Indi. He is a professor in the English department of Tuskegee University. He has written a recent poem on Free from Dirt and um, have the unique opportunity to listen to him as he recited and possibly give us details concerning his write-up. Can we hear you, Dr. Andy? Well, thank you, Mr. Ayariga. Uh, my latest poem is entitled Free from Dirt, and it uh, reads, I'm a black man, and I've chosen to be cool. I bend and break their rules created for their school. And on them I stood not because I'm a fool, far from loving school, whom I have loved since birth, and with whom I keep a record free from dirt and filth, and would not with them flirt till my death. When I came to this world, they claim it was theirs, and had on me their shameless woes, that with tears left me with their hope I would be wrapped up in fears which I have braved and overcome without sword around which they frame their might unlike my word birthed to shield me from their seed of discord one I would not let impair my molten magma for I have always had to be cool in their drama. Wow, that's it's a beautiful poem. Ah, but it really baffles me because you wrote, you read it so interestingly. It sounds musing to my ears, but understanding I lack so much. Can you elucidate on most of the lines? Well, uh, it is just um, free from the, it's just you are clean. Uh, the, the writer writes about his being clean and he starts by identifying his origin or um, biogeographical diversity if we want okay he's a black man and what has he done he's chosen to be cool it doesn't matter how well uh, how you define the word cool um, for some cool means uh, it's somebody who breaks the rule without caring for this or somebody who has not been to school for some being cool is doing drugs but um, for this writer or in the, the persona in the poem he is saying he has chosen to be cool he breaks what kind of rules he breaks specific rules and not every rules those rules that are created for their school okay not his own school okay he breaks them why most probably because he's a wise man as he says he says it is not because I'm a fool okay and he says his tools on them on what on the rules on the rules and points out that he has loved school since birth okay and keeps a record with schooling, which is clean or free from death, and would not on any occasion allow death or field to be around him or to flirt with death and field. Before you go, uh, because I'm looking at it from dirt, are you talking about it in terms of spiritual death or in terms of uh, mismanagement or, or or even possible slavery? Where are you coming well, from? No, I'm talking of dirt, like dirty. Yes. Okay, and filled. Okay. When I talk of death, okay, I say I would not flirt with dirt and field. Yes. In till this the day I die. So what I was trying to understand is what are you insinuating from this statement? From the statement, it is in life, keep your acts straight. In life, be clean. Keep, okay. be, 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 clean. Okay, okay. be spiritually upright, okay. be physically upright. Okay. Do have a clean record with your, with, with, your, with your friends, with your colleagues, with your neighbors with all those people you come across. Okay, 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 I get it. And in the poem you would see um, the persona is somebody who by nature is very, very peaceful. 
all right? Because he points out, how does he overcome this fears that wanted him to be wrapped in? He says, I have braved and overcome without sword. Meaning, there is no war. He is not somebody who likes warring. He doesn't like fighting. He has to overcome this. And most interestingly, he says, the discourse of the orders of the day is framed around the sword. And his own discourse is framed in his word, which should be dialogue. Okay? And his word or dialogue is something that is made to shield him from the seeds of discord. And the discord is just something he would not let, okay, impair his molten magma. Okay. This is the image of a volcano that is exploding, that is exploding and saying the things or spewing out the hot lava that people do not like, all right? And he points out that even in the midst of the drama, he has always been cool. Thank I get, you. I get it. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. I know this, if you had not told me this, I may not have been able to grasp as I have grasped now. Thank you. You're welcome.